No halo top. What'd we get, boo? We're going to do hot pot with uh, Mega's friend. I don't know if she wants to be named yet. We'll see. Our friend. Mushrooms. I've never done a hot pot before, so I don't know like what to expect and how it even works. But I did some research. So we got mushrooms, broccoli cauliflower combo. Then we got here's the car, Ford Focus. Meat? What like uh, beef? Chipped beef. Chipped beef and shrimp, half a pound. Ready to eat, Boo? Yep. See you guys at the hot pot station. Hot pot. No idea how to do it, so taking a shot in the dark. I think we're gonna go with chicken stock. Are we? Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we got some flavorings. Garlic, ginger. Not using ginger though. Puppy. Puppy. Did we, did we already show all this? Yeah, stuff we got from Acme. Plus tofu. We brought tofu. Marinated teriyaki. Marinated tofu. What do you got going on over here? To I'm just getting that one. So yeah, this, so this is one of my best friends, Kathleen. She's on the market. So what so do you anyway, got? So anyway, okay, no, I'm just grabbing some, some um, sesame seed oil and soy sauce and, you know, just some stuff. What is this? Is this basil? Oh, no, it's, it's just... And this is kimchi. I like kimchi. Have you guys ever had kimchi? I need to try it. Okay. I've never tried it. She likes kimchi like, like it. she likes her men. Asian. Asian. <laughs> First time kimchi taste test. And a hundredth time. So. Hundredth time. Expert. Whoop. She's going for the big guy. Cheers. Cheers. I really like that. You do? I love this. I could eat this oh, whole, like the, mm. Let me get a taste then. I don't it's so good feel with like rice not though. Like it. Also, I can't use chopsticks. So that's a bit of an issue. Someone's embarrassing us. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Here shame to the Keto Connect name. You're in? Like Flynn? I like it. Pretty good. Seven and a half out of ten. Oh my god, it smells amazing. I'm pouring chicken broth into the hot pot. We think that's what you're supposed to do. We're not sure though. But Matt insisted we do it the wrong way. I'm going with some garlic and shallots to flavor the broth. This seems like something you should do, so. Right? Does that seem good? Yeah. Maybe throw a little soy sauce in now. Naturally. We gotta build up, we need like some seasonings I think too, right? Yeah, do you like spicy? Yeah. Yeah. What are you adding? Because we have white. Chili pepper. Sesame oil. To describe my first hot pot experience, hot, because you really think it's cooled down once you pull it out, but it's burning for like a couple minutes. Number two, delectable. And three, fun. It's fun to put pull, push the meat in, wait for it, and pick it up. <sighs> three words to describe my first hot pot: bubbly. Shrimp. Shrimpy. Shrimpy. And? What do you have to say? Friendly. Friendly is, friendly is the third one. I was just with the friends. I said hot. Oh yeah. Oh. Our gone friend. She's gone, girl. Yo. Hey. We just had hot pot. First time. 
It's and still a brewing. Still brewing. Megan's just eating the broth. It's so good. Like a savage animal. No, like 21 savage. 21. 21. 21. 21. <laughs> so this is what we did for the hot pot. We don't know what we're doing though. So if you guys have better tips on how to do it, let us know. Shoot them our way. Because we're going to get one, right? What? A hot, a hot pot? pot. Yeah. 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 We're, we like it a lot. Definitely going to buy one on Invest. Amazon immediately. Yeah. So we started with chicken broth. And we put garlic and onions, shallots, shallots, just like we chopped them up big pieces, just so they like added to the broth and yeah. we're we didn't actually eat them. We didn't do ginger because Kathleen didn't like ginger. But we would have done ginger. Yeah. Um, we added soy sauce because it was a low sodium chicken broth and sesame seed oil, a good amount of both. And then we just let it stew a little, right? Mm -hmm. Just you know, we I were. I think that's everything, right? Yeah. yeah, and we were just putting. Oh, out we all put the spices. And put some pepper and some chili powder, chili, chili flakes, um, and that's it, right? We can make it spicier next time. Yeah. Yeah, that was that. We put out, we got... We had steak, thin cut, mm -hmm. chicken, shrimp, tofu. The tofu was really good, too. Yeah. That was probably my favorite part of it. I liked the beef and the tofu equally. And the vegetables, like the broccoli. Vegetables were okay. I like the cauliflower. Mushrooms were not that good. And then I had a little bowl of kimchi. I had a little bowl of soy sauce. We used chopsticks, which was really fun. And we have this sauce we brought from home. Green Dragon. It's really, really good. It's at TJ's only we've seen, so go out and get it. So as far as keto goes, this was probably not very high fat of a meal. Yeah, it was mostly protein. Yeah, but protein and vegetables. very low carb. Not very low carb, I'd say moderate carb. Probably, we probably each had about 20 grams of carbs. Okay. Yeah. I'll take that. Because it was delicious and worth it. Yeah. So not like an everyday thing for sure. So how would we make it fattier for next time when we do it at home? That's a good question. I think having some kind of homemade sauce on the side that's like an Asian sauce with a lot of fat in it. Yeah. Would be good. Or we can, if we have the shrimp, we could do, we can do like lobster tail next time too. And we can get, we can dip it in butter. Oh yeah, that'd be great. We knew a butter dipping sauce. Butter. Um, what can we do for like the chicken? This dog is just gnawing on my hand right just now. Butter. Oh, she, wants to, she wants to play. We can make like some uh, low carb peanut sauce, something like yeah, that. Yeah, that would be a great idea. Yeah, let's try doing that. That would be delicious. Okay. Yeah, but definitely give us tips on hot pot. Hot. Pot out. out. All right, guys, subscribe. Give her that.